بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو اینڈ ویری وارم ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل ڈاکٹر ثاقب خان سائنس اکیڈمی ٹوڈے وی ول لرن اباؤٹ فٹنگ ڈیٹا ان ٹو سوڈو سیکنڈ آرڈر کائنیٹک ماڈل بفور دس وی ڈیڈ ڈیٹا فٹنگ فار سوڈو فرسٹ آرڈر کائنیٹک ماڈل یو کین واچ اٹ اوور ہیئر دا سیم ڈیٹا وی ول یوز to fit into pseudo second order kinetic model before going to fit the data into pseudo second order kinetic model or pso model you should know the information of the equation and the plot so we have the equation pso or pseudo second order equation is t over q e is equal to 1 over k2 q e square plus 1 over q e q e as you already know that this is the adsorption capacity at equilibrium we will calculate the q e experimental and q e calculated one k2 or k is basically the pseudo second order kinetic constant or PSO constant okay the plot will be drawn between T versus T over QT time versus time over adsorption capacity at time so we will calculate T over QT from the equation the experimental QE we already calculated in our previous lecture the formula for calculating QE you already know is equal to C naught minus C E divided by W multiplied by volume the volume in liter which we used was 0.06 and the same was the weight okay so you will calculate QE is equal to C naught initial concentration minus ce multiplied by volume divided by weight so we'll have this data you can drag this or you can log this this one so you get the data In our previous lecture, we logged the volume and the weight values and in this lecture you can see that I dragged it, I wrote the values of W and V throughout over here. Now we will use 30 ppm, we will use 30 milligram per liter as our optimized concentration 30 milligram per liter you can use any other concentration which is which you are using for your optimization study uh, for example 50 milligram per liter or 40 or 60 or 100 whatever uh, your concentration is so we we used 30 milligram per liter we did the experiment for the 30 milligram per liter the time experiment for 30 milligram per liter so we will use this concentration okay then in our experimental in our experiment we did experiment of the time of till 120 minutes for the initial concentration of 30 milligram per liter okay and these concentration the ct value which we got which we already reported in our PFO or pseudo first order was this one. Okay, this was our CT value at 120 minutes. QT, you already know, we already explained in the previous lecture how to calculate QT. If you do not know, just consult the formula or my previous video 
I have explained this that over there. So it will be equal to C naught minus C T multiplied by weight 0, 0.0 uh, multiplied by volume divided by mass 0 0.06 this is our qt value and we'll copy this value till the end now we will calculate t over qt t is this time okay t is this time and qt is this value so our formula will be is equal to t divided by qt okay the same formula we will copy this we'll copy the same formula till the end so we got the we have the time value or the t value and we have the t or qt value so our graph is as we already explained earlier our plot will be t versus t over qt so we have t over qt value from here the t over qt value we will copy it and paste it over here so these two values these two columns we will use to plot in the origin will make a plot of time versus t over q qt value from this plot we will we will get the slope the slope value and intercept value and from these slope and intercept value we will calculate the qe and k value so drawing the scatter plot the scatter plot will go to the analysis and go to the fitting and in this we will go for linear fitting and open dialog box do not change any input over here just press ok and then press okay so over here we got the intercept value and the slope value okay the intercept and slope values just copy these values the intercept the intercept value and slope value and paste it over here the intercept value and the slope value okay now we have the formula that intercept is uh, before going to the intercept let's go let's first calculate qe because in the intercept formula we are using qe so the, our slope is equal to 1 over qe the slope is equal to 1 over qe and our qe will be equal to 1 over slope so this qe is the calculated one the calculated one so qe will be equal to 1 divided by slope so this is our qe value the adsorption capacity at equilibrium the calculated adsorption capacity at equilibrium as next is the intercept value the intercept is basically equal to 1 over k q e square okay and our k2 will be or our k will be equal to 1 over intercept multiplied by multiplied by q e square so first of all we have to calculate the q e square is equal to this 
multiplied by this. So this will give us the QE square. So our K2 is equal to our K2 is equal to 1 divided by sorry 1 divided by intercept multiplied by QE square. So this is our K value. The R square value R square value for this we can get from here adjusted R square value. Copy this value 0 0.667. Copy this value and paste it over here. So it, the uh, our R square value is Our R square value is 0 0.667. The R square value for pseudo first order reaction was in our previous lecture 0 0.84, 0 0.84, and R square value over here is 0 0.66. So this means that the pseudo first order reaction it is more closer to one. The R square value is more closer to one as compared to the pseudo second order reaction. So we can say that our on the basis of these calculation, we can say that our system is following or our adsorption reaction is following pseudo first order reaction or system is following the pseudo first order reaction or pseudo first order adsorption. OK, now for reporting the data. For reporting the data, just go to the graph. Just go to the graph. If you want this, you can keep this value. You can keep the value. Increase its size. Increase the size of this also. If you want to change the type of your symbols, then you can change. Otherwise, just increase its size. Press OK. Then you can add text. Pseudo. Second order. Kinetics. Kinetic model. Okay. You can keep this or as you wish. You can increase the size of this also. Yes. Time is in minute. You can write time in minute. Copy the graph and paste it in the word. You can write figure one. to second order second order kinetic model okay and you can mm, and you can add the table to second order kinetic model let's copy the table 
Just copy the table and paste it over here. So this is your A2 or A value. QE, this is calculated. And you can also add the experimental QE value for 30 ppm concentration. Hopefully, now you know how to plot pseudo first order and then pseudo second order and and on the basis of r square you can select that your system is following which order of reaction pfo pseudo first order or pso as over here we our r square value is 0 0.8 so we can say that our system the or the adsorption system is following the pseudo first order reaction okay thank you very much don't forget to subscribe like and share this video. Allah Hafiz.